Hi folks, welcome back to the Horde. So I showed you guys um, the load of scrap I had in my truck and I was uh, I was actually very very pleased with the uh, with the haul from the scrapyard. Um, first of all, I like showing the money, right? <laughs> We're in it for the money. Um, it was 440 pounds of cast iron and uh, steel, uh, mild steel and all that. They gave me four cent a pound, uh, $17.60. So they rounded it up and gave me 18 bucks um, for the steel. If I would have cleaned up the cast iron better, I might have got, you know, a little more, so maybe I would have worked my way up to uh, um, another penny or so per pound for the cast iron. So, um, and, and that was just stupid on my part. It would have, it would have literally taken me minutes to swing a hammer and uh, knock those pieces of uh, pipes off the cast iron and uh and roll it off that piece of sheet metal and and um and just had had that so i i i probably could have squeezed you know another two dollars off of it for less than five minutes worth of work but so that that's first of all so that's the steel i got 18 bucks for the steel this is where i bring it and once again for the steel i got four cents a pound what um, is interesting are the, the other metal. So I had three pounds of aluminum, and he gave me 40 cents a pound, it looks like there. Copper number two, it was $1.60 a pound. Dirty aluminum, four pounds. Um, he looks like he gave me 15 cents a pound for dirty aluminum. Brass, one pound, $1.20. I'm surprised that was a whole pound of brass. And um, I brought in the catalytic converter. I don't know if you guys remember that purple Kia. I cut the catalytic converter off of that. That was worth 50 bucks. So if you're out picking up stuff on the side of the road, <laughs> or you want to crawl into the sewer and sneak underneath cars and reach up through the manhole covers, you want to mess with the catalytic converters. Got 50 bucks for the catalytic converter. So that's 55 and 18. I got 73 dollars um, for today's haul. So this is where I bring this stuff. Um, some people like them. Some people don't. I I have mixed mixed feelings um, with 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 A and J. Uh, a &J. A and W scrap. Um, the kid, I guess, who actually runs the business now at this point, the son. He's he's pretty cool, and the people that work there are pretty good, pretty honest. Um, I'm gonna. I guess we could call him the old man um, when the father works. Um, I've had him short me a couple of times, so I don't know what's with the old the old man. A lot of people who complain seem to complain about the old man. Um, I don't know if he just hates working in there, so he kind of takes it out on his customers. I mean, it's his business. I mean, he lives there. So um, another thing while I was there, um. The guy who who helps, but not really, um, one, get the metal off the back of the truck. <laughs> I guess the guy who watches you take your metal off the back of the truck. He he was he was telling me that the uh, the son is inter because I've approached them on this topic that the son is interested in in selling more of the complete items like he had a complete snowblower th that was there that actually uh looked looked very nice um i'm completely overloaded on snowblowers i can't even 
you, you know, to take one in now would just be to leave it outside, and by the time it's ready to sell or ready to use, it's going to be a piece of crap, so, but anyway, um, though it's the best time to buy it, right, <laughs> I could, probably could have scored that thing for like 25 bucks, anyway, that uh, he, he, he wants to, to get into more um, unofficially, uh, moving some more of the complete items. So I got his phone number, and there's a couple of things there I did notice that I wouldn't mind putting my hot little hands on, y you know, given that I have all this space. Um, so I got to see what kind of deals he's offering. Um, in particular, um, there's a golf cart down there. And I don't want you guys to go steal my golf cart. Please don't do that. But, um, yeah, there's a golf cart down there that I want to talk to him about tonight. Because we've, we've talked about golf carts, how much all this junk costs, right? You, you know, how much a torque converter is, is worth, how much a rear end with forward and reverse is worth, how much a complete engine is worth, how much a starter is worth and all. I only paid 50 bucks for that one I bought at the auction. I don't think I'm going to get away that cheap with him. No, this one is pretty battered. Um, we'll see. If I could work out some kind of deal, I wouldn't mind uh, putting my hot little hands on it because that's like money in the bank. Um, and my older son is after me to get him a golf cart. So maybe that Yami, that Yamaha sitting out maybe it is going to get a real yamaha engine into it and uh it's going to get a real home the cart he had there um from the engine was in it and i turned it over it seemed to have compression it was wearing both belts there was a battery in it i mean it was complete but the looks of it it kind of looked a little foldy so i'm thinking the frame shot on it though um when i looked i I didn't specifically look at the frame, but I didn't specifically notice that the frame was bad. It was in an awkward position, so it wasn't the easiest thing to look at. Um, but anyway, so I, that's one thing I saw. He regularly gets the China um, quads, and as a matter of fact, he had a couple, a couple there up by the house that were real, real nice-looking units. Um, so if I could get them reasonable enough, um, not that China quads are worth any money, but if they're complete and they're pretty, um, I, I could also find a home for them, um, fairly easily. So anyway, that's all that's going on. Folks, I want to, uh, thank you all. I showed you the current scrap prices. So if you guys have, um, crap floating around, you could get an idea. Normally, the prices I'm paid probably aren't the best. If you, you know, if you're in a rural area and they got a truck to scrap a million miles, and there aren't a bunch of scrap dealers, you might not do quite this well because the guy's got to be a little bit competitive. If you are in an area where there's um, a bunch of scrap dealers and it's really competitive, and they don't have to truck the scrap that far to get it to wherever it's going for really recycling right where where it's going to be processed and turned back into toyotas or subarus or kias or whatever the heck they're going to turn out of it um you might get a little more than those prices but copper buck 60 four cent a pound for you know mixed mixed metal mixed steel um aluminum what was that 40 cents y you know not bad uh, the catalytic converter, though, if you got a catalytic converter, you want to fish that out and get your money out of it. Okay, folks, Harvey's $73 richer and a little happier. You know, I knew it was going to be a good week. I looked out my uh, my window, and there were a couple of rabbits making bunnies out there. So uh, I think that's a sign of good luck. Anyway, folks, once again, thanks for watching and commenting and subscribing. Remember to keep your feet down, keep your heads up, and get out there and enjoy all your days. Bye now, folks.